Welcome back everybody to another episode of Direct Comparison. In today's episode, we're taking a look at the recently released Forza Horizon 4, and how it stacks up visually to its predecessor, Forza Horizon 3. Now before we get started, keep in mind that both titles are being run on the PC platform with the game's graphical settings cranked up as high as they can go, at a 1440p resolution and dynamic optimization disabled. But for the sake of capturing clear images, I did disable the motion blur effect. It's important to understand that these games don't have the most reliable way of editing the time of day and adjusting lighting effects, so bear in mind that some of these side-by-sides might appear better in one game because of the angle of the sun and various other elements like cloud cover. In order to capture the most accurate side-by-sides, I used the blueprint mode in both games to set custom events with identical times of day. But even after doing this, I still found that the lighting didn't match up perfectly, which can either be attributed to changes in the graphical design or simply because of the vastly different region that these games take place in. So to kick this off, we're going to start by comparing identical vehicle models with identical manufacturer paint jobs. First we have the Corvette Z06. Now bear in mind that the positioning of the sun here is not identical, even after setting the time of day to noon, so try not to focus too much on reflections or detail shadowing. However, I do want to point out the taillights, in particular the center taillight. It appears much crisper in Horizon 3 for some reason, almost as if the image in Horizon 4 is blurred slightly. The side taillights also appear dimmer in Horizon 4. The headlights seem to be the same way. The LEDs are much brighter in Horizon 3, almost emitting a sort of glow, whereas they don't appear to glow at all in Horizon 4. Coloration here seems to be drastically different, but this is likely attributed to the sun positioning and the cloud coverage. The front tires also appear slightly different, with Forza Horizon written along the tire itself in Horizon 3 and a more reflective rim. Next, let's look at the Lamborghini LP610. Now, once again, these models appear identical down to the smallest detail, and it's likely the assets were just carried over. So what's interesting here is that the lighting appears significantly different between these two vehicles, despite identical timing and vehicle paint jobs. In Horizon 3, we get a much higher contrast, with Horizon 4 looking a bit more muted. Determining which looks better really boils down to personal preference, but I will point out that the intense color in Horizon 3 does tend to drown out some of the more fine details along the car. Another interesting detail is the shadowing here on the wheel cover. In Horizon 3, the outer edges of the cover barely seem to project shadows, whereas the shadows in Horizon 4 are much more apparent. So, based on these models alone, it's kind of a mixed bag. Neither game really looks bad at all, and even the slightest change to lighting can drastically affect our comparisons so it's tough to really say one is better. Still, an important takeaway here is that Horizon 3 still manages to hold up crazy well, and that game came out two years ago. Next, let's look at some environmental textures, starting with the grass. This one was surprising actually. I looked everywhere in Horizon 4, and I could not find any grass textures in the environment that even came close to matching the quality of the grass textures used in Horizon 3. The textures looked crisp and very high res when compared to the ugly, low res textures used for grass in Horizon 4. You're rarely going to see these textures anyway, but it's still interesting nonetheless. The road, on the other hand, you will see quite a bit as you race around Horizon 4, and it thankfully received a bump in texture quality. Things like vegetation have also seen some very minor improvements with a bit more complexity than before, but again, it's incredibly minor and you're not going to notice this when you're bashing through it at 200 miles per hour. Next, let's talk lighting. This is where Horizon 4 really stands out. Thanks to the new focus on seasons, Playhouse Games seems to have put a lot of work into the game's lighting effects, making it feel far more realistic than it ever did in Horizon 3. Horizon 3 still looks great, with beautiful reflective surfaces and dynamic weather like cloud coverage and rain being represented accurately, but it doesn't hold a candle to the excellent lighting design in Horizon 4. Rainy scenes aren't especially impressive, like this one here that takes place early in the game. Shadows generally look the same between games, though I did notice an issue with Horizon 4 when observing vegetation shadows. These trees look practically the same and were about the same distance, yet appear much cleaner in Horizon 3. And you could argue that it should look softer like it does in Horizon 4, but the real issue here is when you get up close to these shadows while panning, there's this odd stuttering to the effect that's much more apparent in Horizon 4. It happens in Horizon 3, but not nearly this bad. Still, the vehicle shadows themselves look great, and the dynamic shadow effects seem to function well with weather changes. Now let's move on to special effects. Horizon has a ton of great special effects, and let's first look at the dirt accumulation. Both games feature a nice buildup of dirt and grime as you race around off-road in your million dollar vehicles. But Horizon 4 seems to do a much better job with this, with a much thicker layer of dirt covering most of the vehicle, whereas Horizon 3 seems to only get a fraction of this effect. Water doesn't really look great in either game, at least not the surface of water when viewed from a distance, 
but driving through the water still looks great, and appears about the same in both games. You can also see a bit of water simulation when you drive around in pools of water, which is a nice touch. Again, just like the dirt, Horizon 4 seems to have much more water droplets along the body of the car than in Horizon 3. Snow has also seen some improvements, which makes sense considering snow really wasn't a major part of Horizon 3. It was made available as part of the Blizzard Mountain expansion pack, and featured some nice tessellation effects. These effects appear to have been refined a great deal in Horizon 4, though when I set the game to its maximum Blizzard setting, I was unable to replicate the awesome blizzards in Horizon 3. Now I'm not really sure if this happens on its own at some point in Horizon 4, but I certainly hope so. Damage seems to behave identically between games, suggesting that they didn't really see a need to change this, which is understandable considering the Horizon series is much more of a casual racing experience than the motorsport counterpart. You could smash up the vehicle with cracks and dents, but nothing too noticeable. And finally, we have our sound comparisons. Which game do you think has the better sound design overall? And that just about wraps up this episode of Direct Comparison. Overall, Horizon 4 is a phenomenal looking game that has made some significant improvements to lighting effects. But we did manage to find a few smaller, less significant details like environmental textures that looked a bit sharper in Horizon 3. Though I can live with this considering the game overall is probably one of the best looking open world racing video games ever made. And if you have an Xbox One or a PC, you owe it to yourself to check this game out. You can always download a free demo too if you're interested. If you want to learn more about Forza Horizon 4, keep it tuned here for a full detailed review of the game and its features. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this posted every week.